Welcome back to another episode of Let's Fill My House with Dollar Tree Stuff. I can't believe it's already mid-March. I haven't decorated for spring or Easter. I'm a little late to the party, but that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you 10 super fast and easy ways that you can DIY some decor and everything's from the dollar store. I wanted to start with this absolutely gorgeous wreath. I'm so in love. I saw this in a Facebook group that I'm part of where everybody's just making crafts from the Dollar Tree and I could not believe that everything was from the Dollar Tree. It looked so complicated but beautiful so I gave it a try and it's a lot easier than I thought. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna wanna grab the new rope that they now have from the Dollar Tree. They have two different types. They have a thicker six foot or a thinner 11 foot kind of rope. You can either pick up three of the 11 foot and cut them in half, or you can go with six of the thicker ones. I went with six of the thicker ones and then one thin one to wrap around the edges. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. And then the flowers are so beautiful this year from the Dollar Tree. I especially love the lavender. They have white lavender little pink baby's breath looking things. They look really good. Okay, so are you ready? Grab a wreath round from the Dollar Tree. I got the really big one, crazy. It's huge, only $1.25. And then you wanna start laying your rope over top. The trick is to lay your rope out in groups of three. So you want two groups of three. You kind of lay them out. I taped the ends together for each three bunch just so it was easier to keep them kind of together. Lay them out over your wreath round. I cut a piece of cardboard to go behind as a guide and to give something extra to hot glue too. I found it hard to make this on top of the wreath form so I swooshed that to the side and just did this on top of the cardboard. And here is the basic pattern you follow. It's like braiding kind of, except only with two. You wanna take your strands of three rope and just wrap them around each other, keeping the rope nice and flat. So pull one under and pull one over, make sure that your rope is nice and flat and all side by side, and then repeat all the way around till you have a circle. Once you have that in place, you can like slide your wreath form back underneath and start hot gluing everything together. I just sort of hot glued, not the entire thing, but like on the points where they wrap just to keep it in place. So I kind of tacked all the rope into place, then flipped it upside down, put the cardboard behind and hot glued the cardboard to the back, again, just to really secure everything. This is already looking fab. I'm feeling excited. And now you just go ahead and add your flowers. I'm clipping the flowers off so I have individual little flowers. It's not just the whole bunch together. And I'm kind of just sticking them in, starting with some greenery and then adding different colors to fill in one side of the wreath. That way, when you're all done with your flowers, you can still see all the rope on the other side. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And here is the best part. You can make this huge, super beautiful wreath for under $20. If you go with the thin rope, it's going to be under $15. If you go with the thicker rope, it's going to be just under $20 for everything, including the flowers, the rope, the wreath form. You are not going to be able to buy a wreath for anywhere close to that. And this is so gorgeous. You guys, everything from the Dollar Tree, you've got to give this a try. This next decor is definitely my favorite and it's fast and easy, super cheap, and we get to play with fire. So this is gonna be fun. Do you know those beads that are kind of everywhere? They're like the, the wooden beads and they have them in bowls and displayed. They look like naughty toys to me, but uh, you know, I'm not judging. I have a giant butthole painting in my living room, but we're gonna make these, but we're gonna make like bunny beads instead out of these really cool eggs from the Dollar Tree. These, I love these cartons of speckled eggs. They look so high-end and expensive. You get six for $1.25 and you can make them into a banner or 
into beads that you lay in a coffee table, you know what I'm trying? Um, super easily. All you need is a lighter and something sharp and pokey like a, this has a word, a screwdriver. Okay, so you, you, you light the end with fire. Just for a few seconds, you wanna really heat it. It doesn't give off smoke and it doesn't really smell, but once it's looking a little flamey, you just shove the pokey hole in the thing. Here's the trick. You definitely want the front hole to be a little bit bigger. You wanna like really give it to be a good size so that you can feed your twine up the end and out the top. This is going somewhere, but seriously, uh, that's all there is to it. Feed your twine up the bottom and out the top and then string these all together. You end up with this. It's looking pretty cool. You can string this across your fireplace, but I'm actually gonna lay it in a tray just like those naughty beads that everyone has in their living room, but it's like bunny beads instead. So this is fun. You gotta try it and you can do this for around $4. Hands down, my favorite way to decorate for spring is painting bunnies. The dollar store has a ton of ceramic, but also bigger bunnies that I think are meant for gardens. They have like scary, creepy eyes. You're supposed to put them outside to simulate nature. The point is you can make these look so high end just by slapping on some paint. I like getting the little tester cans of chalk paint, just covering them in paint. You can distress them if you want, but even if you don't, just a painted bunny, it looks like something you're gonna pick up in a home store for 10 or $20 and you got it from the dollar store. It's fast to paint bunnies too. The only thing is they tend to multiply when you're not looking. I wanted to make one of those terrarium things that I see everywhere that are super expensive. You know, they have like moss and plants and bunnies in it. I didn't know how to make it using Dollar Tree stuff, but then I saw. Who's excited? I'm excited. These are like things you put over plant domes. You get three of them in a pack. I don't know if your dollar store will have them, but I know you can find these at hardware stores too, super cheap. They're like little greenhouses. But how fun is that gonna be to make a terrarium? So I found a candle holder. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that candle holder. And then I need a little knobbly noob to go on the top. So the Dollar Tree has these packet of foam bunnies. You get a whole bunch. I chose one of those and I went ahead and painted that so I could glue it on the top like the knob, you know, the little knobby thing. This is gonna come together. And inside, I thought I'd go ahead and paint two little ceramic dollar store bunnies. I'm painting them blue because they can't breathe inside the terrarium. There's no oxygen, so that's why they're blue. Also, everything's just gonna coordinate. So I'm gonna put this together with some moss and like fun stuff. I'm just hot gluing it so it's not a permanent thing. I like to do that. It's not gonna last forever, but I don't want it to. I like to change my crafts every year. So just run some hot glue along your uh, candle holder thingamajobber, doodly doohickey thing, and then stick a plate on top. This is a Dollar Tree plate, and that's, that's all there is to it. It's coming together. I don't know if that's centered, but we're gonna hope and pray. And then on top of your little plastic dome, Go ahead and hot glue your little knobby new bunny thing on top of there. It already looks expensive. Right? I'm feeling geeked about this one. So, so far we're like three bucks in, less than three dollars in, and it looks fab. I'm gonna add some moss and then just have fun adding some little dollar store flowers and greenery, and we're gonna see how this turns out. Some moss always makes a mess. Crafting is messy. My bunny's now painted. They're frolicking. I'm not gonna make them frolic in a naughty way because I'm a mom and an adult, but we could if we wanted to. Let's pop in some eggs there. Do bunnies lay eggs? No. Why do they go together at Easter? No one knows. That is the age old question. Maybe a little, this is a dollar store flower for height in the back. I don't know how this looks in the front, but so far I'm loving it from behind. You know what? 
they laid two eggs and the now I'm gonna suffocate them in this dome. Bad crafty. It's cool, right? Yeah, and cheap. A tiered tray is a total must. You have to make a tiered tray for Easter. I'm actually recycling an old one that I had made in the past, everything from the Dollar Tree, but I already had it, so I wasn't gonna buy anything new. It's a pizza pan and then a little light cake pan and a bucket. I've painted these white, I'm going to repaint them, but I wanted to redo it because look what my Dollar Tree has back in stock. I am obsessed with these candle holders. If your Dollar Tree has these candle holders, you're so lucky because they just make everything more elegant. Put this on the bottom of a plate and you have an expensive cake plate. Put this on the bottom of a bowl and you have an expensive look looking serving dish. Stock up. These are amazing. So I added these together with the cake pan and the pizza pan and the little bucket. I added a coat of paint and now I'm gonna fill it with a bunch of Dollar Tree stuff to just create a little tiered tray with a carrot theme. This carrot sign is my inspiration. It's from the Dollar Tree, just a dollar twenty-five. So I wanna like have this kind of go together. All the carrots that they have at the dollar store are very bright and sparkly. So I'm gonna add these, but I wanna tone them down. So take a little bit of white paint and dab it off your brush so you can dry brush and kind of, you don't want them to be solid white, but you don't want them to look like they're at a discotheque. You know what I'm saying? We don't need sparkly carrots. So you just like drag some white paint over top and I guess you're antiquing them. You're just toning it down and making them look less in your face. Don't drop it and get paint all over it. Don't do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and like tone down all the carrots and then add everything to the tray, everything from the Dollar Tree. Like look at the difference. And then like a normal carrot. A butcher carrot and a normal carrot. So now I'm gonna put it together. Now that my carrots are super painted, I'm gonna drop in a little piece of floral foam and then just put some carrots in the top. Farm fresh carrots are available. Mm -mm -mm. The Dollar Tree had a bunch of different types of greenery. I wanna not keep this. I wanna keep it like the carrot is the color pop. So maybe some yellows and some greens, maybe white, but I don't wanna add a bunch of pink and other colors to it because I definitely want the carrots to be the poppiness. So I'm gonna add some of this, I don't even, it looks like seaweed. I don't know, Dollar Tree. Your greenery could get better, but it's fine. We're gonna add some seaweed. This also looks like seaweed. They didn't have a lot of options at my Dollar Tree, but I like the color. It kind of looks like the top of carrots a little bit. No, right? So I'm gonna like put some of that back here. And then there's just these white flowers again with this cool greenery. So these are from the Dollar Tree too. Of course, everything's from the Dollar Tree. And we should do a shot every time I say Dollar Tree. <laughs> I feel like that would make crafting videos so much more fun. I don't drink alcohol. But if you do, shot every time Cass says Dollar Tree. I can't see what it looks like from the front. So you're gonna have to tell me if uh, it looks bad. <laughs> I can't hear you. Maybe this little dude, let's nestle you in. Yeah, you like it there. That's nice. And this dude, from the Dollar Tree. We definitely need more carrots. We're gonna put some, a bunch of carrots here by this bunny. He's eating, he's hungry. Maybe some carrots here. I, I have no idea what this looks like. Maybe you need to, oh, you're cute with your little butt. Here, let's show your butt off here cute little thing. Da, 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 da. Carrot tray. I love this little bunny butt next super fun craft. Your Dollar Tree probably already has bunny butts pre-made. They're just like the little feet and the tail and then they stick in things so the bunny's like digging for carrots. My Dollar Tree didn't have any bunny butts, but that's okay. Bunny butts are super easy to make. I'm gonna show you how to make one in just a second, but we're gonna start with the whole flower arranging thing. I picked up one of these from the Dollar Tree. It's a little, I don't know, like pot, so cute. I gave it a quick coat of paint, and now I'm filling it with the beautiful 
lavender that they have at the Dollar Tree. They have the white and the purple. Just clip it down, stick it in some floral foam, and then go ahead and add in the Dollar Tree carrots. And then this is where you add your bunny butt. If you don't have bunny butts at your Dollar Tree, you can easily make one with some yarn. Just make a giant pom-pom, wrap it around your hand, or create a pom-pom maker. There's no wrong way to make a pom-pom. Trim it down to the way you like it, and then they actually had this really cute little craft kit at the Dollar Tree that came with everything I needed to make the feet and the tail. So I took this apart and I used a dollar store hole punch to just punch out to make the little bean pads, you know? So I punched out three of those and then trimmed down the other part of the felt to make the cute feet. I hot glued it all together and then the pom-pom tail and then you just tuck it in so it looks like your bunny's digging for carrots. It's cute. I think that this is absolutely adorable. You can add little bunny butts to all your things around your house for a little fast, whimsical Easter decor. This DIY is the fastest, no DIY skills required, and honestly, I think it looks so good. The Dollar Tree's eggs are amazing, so fill up any vase that you have, even if it has fresh flowers in it, doesn't matter, it's going to look so great. So fill this up with all the eggs. You probably need two or three packages, and then go ahead and add your flowers. I'm just in love with the lavender that they have at the Dollar Tree. It looks so realistic, so beautiful. I like the color, so I'm gonna stick those in the middle and that's it. You can use fresh flowers too, um, any flowers you already have, and you have instant spring decor. This super fast decor looks awesome, but it takes about 30 seconds to make. Go to the Dollar Tree and find some of these cute watering cans. You don't even have to paint them. They have a lot of adorable colors. And then plop in that Dollar Tree lavender. This one's a little bit different than the other one. I just cut the stems down so it's really short. And that's it. Cute on a table, cute beside decor you already have. So springy, perfect for Easter. You gotta try this one. Are you ready to completely wow your guests or your family this is so cute i'm absolutely in love with this quick diy all you need is some cloth napkins if you don't already have them i pick these up from amazon really inexpensive and some twine or ribbon one egg one of those speckled eggs for each napkin and a couple flowers i cut off now here is the trick you want to open your napkin and you want to fold it into a triangle just like this and then roll from the point up so the like bottom part you want to roll it up it doesn't have to be perfect and then when you wrap you've got the little bunny ears okay this is so cute take a dollar tree speckled egg kind of nestle it in and then tie right here stop it that's all you need to do, but I'm going to go ahead and tuck in some flowers into there too. Whatever theme your decor is, so fast, so easy. It looks absolutely elegant. If you're having Easter dinner, you got to try this one. This next quick DIY, you don't even have to buy anything because you probably have mason jars already in your house. Just give them a quick coat of paint in any color you like. And I like to, just around the lid, wrap some jute twine, tie it into a knot, cut it, and the perfect flower to go into these are these that I do not know the name of. Put it in the comments below if you know the name of this flower. They grow outside, they're beautiful. Is it hyacinth? Hydrangeas? I think it's hydrangeas. Anyways, watch it. Boop. They're perfect. They have them at the Dollar Tree. Absolutely perfect for the top of mason jars. I think this is really cute, especially if you are entertaining, having people over. They have a lot of these plastic, this is like a, I don't know, canister or something from the Dollar Tree, but just hot gluing on one of these candle holders to the bottom, it just instantly makes it feel more elegant. And then they have a lot of beautiful, they kind of look like crystal, but they're plastic, um, serving dishes and if you put this on top it fits so perfect that it won't come off like it it has ridges at the bottom that snug it right in so you've got this really cool kind of like cake stand 
Go ahead and fill this with Dollar Tree speckled eggs. And then when you put the little plate on top, now you can add all your Easter treats like cookies or a cake or anything that you're like serving during Easter holidays. It's gonna look fancy, you guys. Once you have all your food kind of out and displayed, I thought these bunnies from the Dollar Tree were really cute. So you can just add some decorations around it and really make your display feel kind of whimsical and just perfect for Easter. Now that all the DIYs are done, now I get to decorate the house. I get to put this all out and decorate for Easter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're feeling inspired to head to the Dollar Tree, pick up a couple things, and add some last minute Easter decor to your home. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. You know those things, those posts where you see like Instagram versus reality, or like social media versus reality? I thought I would give you the reality of what it's like when I actually do DIYs and decorate. I trash my house on an epic level. Okay, this is it. You wanna see? This looks great. Behind the camera is the hot, I'm just gonna take the camera off. I'm gonna take you on a tour of my dumpster fire that is a house. That's the end story today. It's the truth. Buckle up, friends. It's a nightmare. Emily's hiding, she's running. This is the other side. So this is, Emily's like filming. We got the lights, we got everything, and then we hide all the supplies. And then all, and the second camera, all the crap just thrown every freaking where. <laughs> it's just like everything's a mess everywhere and this makes me very sad. But the next part is I get to decorate. So you're gonna see it all put back together and beautiful, but this gives me heart palpitations. This gives me hives. And it was like this all day yesterday too. I don't care what anyone says, the state of your house <laughs> causes so much anxiety. When your place is like this, I feel physically ill that my house is so messy. I feel physically sick. So I thought I'd just uh, share the truth with you because social media is a lie. There, I said it. Okay, love you guys. See you next time. Look who's back. Back again, buttholes back, tell your friends, look who's back, look who's back. I missed you, I missed you giant butthole, you're looking fabulous, let's put some bunnies in front of you.